Hello. Oops. Hi. How is Ginger sideways? Why are you sideways? You were oh, sideways. Yeah, her face isn't moving, but I hear her talking. It's like she's. Oh talking. my gosh. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. I was watching you when the music was on. And I was, I, I laughed and I actually sent you a message because I said, Ginger, you look hot eating those chips because you were like, I'll tuck back in your chair, like popping chips or something in your mouth. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> the next thing I know sideways. That's what I was looking for. And now I'm, uh, okay. Well, do you want to pop out and pop back in? That's what I was just thinking. Just pop out and pop back in. I'll yeah. let you in. I'll let you in. I promise. Well, Hold on, it takes Promises. me to a weird place. <laughs> I don't yeah. even know what's going on. You guys, I'm sorry. Hold hold on. That's okay. okay. You're fine. Hey, uh, says Julie, Ginger is sideways and frozen. <laughs> yes. Story of mine. We talked about it, but did you put your um did you did you put the um the spreadsheet in the or at least a screen oh um, i forgot to do that let me actually pull it up right now while we're all talking okay so i'm going to go through and say let's say hi to everybody okay so that sounds good got we've got kim r s c h so we'll call you kim we have kim samantha hey you too vicky L liza or lizzie um and i i think you go by both ways <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, she, she likes to be called Lizzie or Eliza. I think either or, one. Okay, either way, you're 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 laid back. I know. <laughs> Judy and Ashley, hey you guys! I appreciate you all being here. We see Joe and Denine and Wanda. Hello, Jenny. Loved that thumbnail. We'll have to tell um, uh, Ginger that. Oh, Ginger. Yep, she's our thumbnail goddess. Mm-hmm um and then the yarn fairy hey hey yarn um, fairy. lisa uh, yarn fairy what are you guys um expected to get as far as snowfalls because i was trying to compare with what julie's getting oh, well needs yeah I, um ginger needs a link again um <laughs> yeah i can't share the link otherwise it's I would do okay it. all she needs to do is scroll up but uh lisa's here gina hello cindy Patty, hey, um, and Terry, Angela, Michelle, hi, you guys. Tracy, and and Yarn Fairy was saying, go out of Streamyard and hit the rotation on your phone so that it goes to portrait and lock it in. Come back in. Um, Ooh, good to know. Lori's here. Hi, everybody. So, everybody, how are you doing? How have you guys been doing with Bust Your Stash 2022? Tell me how it's going. Right now. <laughs> right now. Okay, I am getting our stash number. Hey, David, I missed you this morning. <laughs> okay, Mel, I hate to tell you, but I've passed you. Ah, well. <laughs> Mel has... Mel has got um, in her stash yardage 1,037 yards, 0.53. So 1,037.53 yards. And I have 1,293 yards. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, what have you been making with all that yardage? Okay, so I have made a bunch of hats. <laughs> One of them is on my head. I love that color. I love the black edge edge on it. That's so cute. Yeah, because my coat is black. So I was like, well, somehow I've got to tie it into my coat. <laughs> so yeah, I can hear it. The black and the pom-pom. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. So I liked it. Um, what else did I make? Um Ginger's oh, saying the link isn't working now. Oh. Ginge? 
All right, well, let me keep trying. Um, copy the clipboard. Oh, Lori says, my pom-pom maker came yesterday, need to <gasps> finish the chiclet hat. Yes, oh, awesome. I did make a chiclet hat for my husband too, and um, but he didn't want a pom-pom. I'm trying to think of what else I've been making. Isn't that funny? Like once it's made, you kind of forget about it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Went to the next thing. You're like, off the hook, move on. Okay, um, yarn. Let's so try it. says she's starting to hate her new job. Hate my job. It's thoroughly unsocial. What? Why is that? Uh, do you work from home like me? And Liza is saying, no stash busting for me. I've been buying new, been buying yarns, which is not good. I need to, I need to, I think, so, I think it's sleep. Um, no. <laughs> Michelle says, I'm on my third Afghan of bulky weight yarn today. We'll get those pictures posted and don't forget to do hashtag oh bust your stash 2022. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Here's wait. our geek. Our geek Yay. is back. That was the weirdest thing because every time I tried to go into the room, it would just take me to my to um, my stream yard. Oh, no, 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 I know why, I know why. Okay, why? And, and I made the same mistake earlier too. So if you click on, okay, so you know how whenever on Instagram you give a link and then it gives you like a photo and then there's a link at the bottom. If mm -hmm. you click on the bottom, that takes you to your stream yard. If you click on the link at the top, it takes you where you need to go. Oh, okay. I learned that today. Well, I relearned it today because I knew it because I've done it before. But that, that's yeah. what I'm about. Yeah. I mean, I have learned it today now, too. See? I would say that I learned it today, but I wasn't paying any attention because I was reading the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully I won't need to rely on that information. Uh, it seems to be a lot. I'll remind you if we ever need to. So you're good. Don't worry about I it. I look really good like I'm listening and then... Yeah, when I need the information, I'm like, oh, I really wasn't paying any attention. Now I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> so David says, I will not buy more yarn. I will not buy more yarn. I will oh. not buy more yarn. You oh. know, I forgot and then we laughed and laughed. I, I forgot to put my head on. So Liza's calling me out. I, may, I have it sitting right here. I just completely forgot to put it on my head. So I'm actually using doing this, this one. Uh. Patty Barker. We're pretty close, Patty. We're pretty close. I think I, what did I say? I had 1,235. So I can't believe that I'm in the lead. This is the only time it will happen for the whole year. I, <laughs> there we go, Liza. Liza, she's got her head on. Why, why does it feel funky right here? Maybe one side of my head is bigger and longer than the other. Or maybe my, my, my bun isn't in centered. Your bun isn't centered? My buns are centered. <laughs> Sorry, centered. Oh, Ashley. Lopsided. <laughs> Ashley, I'm sending you that address right now. Okay. I got it. She's sending you the address. I got oh, it. Mine's on the east side of Texas on I-40. They have treated the they have treated the highway well i guess they don't want the snowstorm of the century like they got last time they're afraid they're going to get hit again yeah so they're being overly cautious maybe cautious is good cautious you know how that goes after you get hit hard then like for the next like three years you're a little bit mm -hmm. over, uh, yeah overcompensate so yeah well and maybe they looked at what happened in virginia not too long ago yeah, well, no, Texas got, remember North Texas yeah. was very hard. Yeah. Was last year. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're, we're not supposed to have our snow start until around five tomorrow, I think. And then snow, uh, into the night and all through the next like morning. And then by Monday afternoon, it'll probably be all cleared up and we'll all be out <laughs> doing our thing. <laughs> um, ours is starting 11 p.m. 50% and then up to 80% by 12 a.m. Tonight? Tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's going to move from her up to me. Yeah. This is, this is my weather girl thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Meteorologist. Meteorologists should totally wear hats to, to talk about whatever weather it is for that day. Exactly. It's Whether so it's a rain cap or a, a, a you know, beanie or. Sunbonnet. You know. Sun bonnet, you know? Yeah, sun visor or something. Yeah. 
one of those um, clear rain things that old women used to wear to keep their perms right. Remember the older ladies in the 70s? They'd have those. <laughs> they looked like bags almost. And they had little ties. Oh, yeah. and they were yeah. underneath the thing. They were clear plastic, and they'd like cover all over their head. Yeah, and it would be tied right underneath their yeah. I sat under I sat under one of those things with big plastic bags on my head many a times. <laughs> you know the heating the heating things actually I kind of loved those when I was when I was that age the heat the big heating thing like at the salon you mean yes the dryers so they would warm up up here and then you get toasty all over and it was it was awesome oh wow i don't think i well no that's not true i sat under one once because my aunt had one she did hair like in her house and <clears throat> i think one time my brothers um put me under there well have you ever had your hair highlighted or have you ever had a perm well, i had a perm once one I had a perm once a long time ago when I was in high school and my hair was like to my waist and it was a spiral perm because I oh, wanted to look like Janet Jackson, but it didn't work out for me. I know, I understand because you don't have the same kind of hair that Janet Jackson has. I don't have the same kind of anything that Janet Jackson has, <laughs> including talent and um, dance ability. Uh, well, you know. But I loved her. I love me some Janet Jackson. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. I, I liked her in different strokes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about her in different strokes. I did too, actually. Um, no, I uh, I did. I got my last perm when I was in my late in high school. And I remembered why I stopped getting perms. And Ginger may, I don't know if Ginger ever had tried to get a perm. Okay. It doesn't matter how short or long your hair is. And, and you might have experienced this too, Julie. When your hair is so thick, when you get a perm, it is so painful because they have to really get those curls yes. up in there and mm -hmm. it holds on every little piece. And if you already have a sensitive head to begin with, yeah. I, yeah. I was like, okay, so this is never going to happen again. That's why I'm <laughs> real lucky. My head is not sensitive at all. Oh, I am. I'm so sensitive head headed. I'm so sensitive headed. <laughs> well, I, I, just had to, I just had to put Ed's comment up um, because I wanted to say, um, excuse me, Ed, do you have a problem? Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Ed. I think I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Hello on there. So David has already Yay. made a ha uh, some blue hats for Hats Not Hate. Yay. Yay. Excellent. So glad to hear that. For sure. Oh, Yarn Fairy says to you, Julie, you have much more talent than Janet Jackson, just in a different way. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I just don't have any Grammy Awards. <laughs> um, but yeah, but you could if you wanted to. That's right. A Grammy Award? Yep. I don't think so. I have a Grammy Award. Oh, well, I have to become a grandmother in order to have that award, I think. I keep I keep telling Ro, um, she's like, I'm never having kids. And I'm like, you know, if you want to be alone your whole life, that's okay. You don't, you, they now have ways that you can have children without having anybody around. And then she's like, well, I could just always adopt. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I just want babies. <laughs> yeah. I never have, I, I, I don't have any hope of ever being alone. I don't know that it's never going to end. So I'm happy. Yeah. My sister did tell me that she would share all of her grandkids because she's got four kids. So she's bound to have some grandkids. Oh, okay. Uh, share some of hers with me. And I'm like, okay, that'll work. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that makes me kind of nervous to think about even. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. Like, what? They're not allowed to have kids. He's so, there's so yeah, there's too many things going in my brain right now. I can't comprehend it. <laughs> Hi, Karen. How are you? You, you know what is you know what has happened it, is I have just collected so many things in my life that I've done gone crazy. <laughs> I've, I've collected so much yard. I've collected so many plants. I've collected so many children. I've collected so many kids. It's like. I'm full. You yeah. just expect to have it all in excess. 
Oh, Lori, um, you're absolutely right. Those little rain bonnets, they did keep them in their pocket oh, books. Yes, <laughs> which is ruined because, oh, that's they pulled it up. Go to the salon and have their hair curled. They would even sleep in those things. Yeah, I remember so, them so yes. well. Yes. So when, funny. When my other grandma passed away, I, I got a couple of her coats and every every pocket had a Kleenex in it. <laughs> <laughs> clean or use clean okay she, she always just carried kleenexes around with her so if she needed one it would be there oh i know i'm sorry okay. i keep reading the chat we've got so many good friends in our chat today it's hard to keep oh, up so yay. i've been just letting you guys chat <laughs> hey, everyone. that's okay i understand who, who else here have we gone through did you go through everyone who's here um, Mel was reading them while I was adding up our yards. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I did earlier. With a, then people popped in since then. But um, if and, you have popped in since then and we haven't said hello, 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 and and um, and and I will tell you, Julie, uh, my my chat this morning. It was I don't think I kept up with it barely at all, and I feel kind of guilty, but. Yeah, you, you, in part you have your discussion, and then in part you um, you want to try and keep up with the chat and keep everybody included. So some pe some things are going to get missed, unfortunately. But you know. we love you all and appreciate every one of you. And if it looks like we missed something and you really want us to see it, go ahead and repeat it. Just don't keep it on spamming it. But I hope yeah. We'll do it at some point, okay? Yeah, and no need for all caps. Uh, it, please it, don't. Feel like don't you're us, and you're upset. We'll cry. Don't yell. <laughs> we'll cry. Um, Lori's asking where the chicka dude is. He is with his papa in the other room, and I believe they're watching Batman from 1966. It's one of their things they do. Oh, cool. The chicka dude. Yeah, the chicka dude and his dad. They. It's funny because I can remember when he was first born, and my husband would take the two in the morning shift, and he would go into the living room, and I would hear Batman on the TV. So he's literally been watching Batman with dad since he was born. Oh, the one with the da na 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 yeah. yeah, holy electric fans, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> holy bright blue yarn, Batman. You know, something like yeah. that. Alice, uh, uh, two of babies perfect. is no easier than round one. My family will attest to that. You're good where you are. <laughs> round two babies no easier than round. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Like grandbabies. Well, uh, and Lacey, you can lurk all you want. We are happy that you're here and joining us. So thank you so yeah. much for being here. I am still reading through. I just don't want to um, to stay to get too far behind. <laughs> the chat. There's has okay. If anybody is a fan of Adam West, what is the deal with him and all the Divine movies? I, don't I know like the mean. Divine. You know, Divine right was in the original Hairspray. Okay, and uh, like crazy stuff. Who's that guy? Who was the guy? John Waters? Yeah, I don't know any of that. I'm going off. I'm going off on a on a. I know. No, and I'm like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm. I was going off on a. On you were a tangent. <laughs> she got off the on ramp. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, was so Alice is clarifying that um, that. Your husband is Chica dude, and your and your um your son is Chica lad. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> I lead holy yarn balls, Batman. That's right, <laughs> holy yarn balls. I love it. <laughs> well, Denise says that their weather is expected in November, and it's going to end around sometime in April. Yeah. <laughs> Lori says, "Me too," with the Kleenex in the pocket of my inherited jacket of my mom's. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it just made me feel better to have those Kleenexes in there. Yeah. It was like a little hug from grandma. And the peppermints this, with the, you know, the red and white spiral peppermint candies. Did your grandmas keep those in their purse? Yeah, and my, my great grandpa kept uh, lemon drops. 
my <laughs> those types of things with my grandmother. Now I remember a lot of things about my grandma. My grandmother is very fiery and and just a spitfire, but uh -huh. she didn't have the mints and stuff in the pockets. It was the pack of Virginia Slims. <laughs> You know, my mom used to have a Virginia Slims date book. Oh yeah, yeah, and and um, I mean, nice. it was just for one year, but it had different quotes all through it from, you know, important women over through history, and it was really actually a really good read. That's cool. I don't think she ever used it as a date book, but it was really interesting to read. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> oh, on my hook, uh, Lisa's asking what's on my hook, and I am working on my blanket. I will get back to it. I'll probably work on my mom's blanket some. Well, I primarily am going to work on um, getting through the yarn that we chose on my live this morning for my my stash buster. Yeah, not stash. Yeah, stash buster blanket. Um, and then I'll work on my mom's. But right now, I'm working on this is going to go in my room because yeah. the colors in my room. That's really pretty. Thank you. I yeah. wanted to ask if any ha anyone had um, or is anyone working on the Jada annual calendar blanket because I've never done it before. This is the first time I'm doing it. I've started my first. That's awesome. Yeah. That's exciting. But I it's have, Tunisian this year. So that's I have funny. followed her blankets before and I always get to about April. So oh, did you? April and June and then then you, you, you yeah. fall off the wagon. I fall off the wagon. Yeah. I got I got like three or four packs like Ziploc bags full of her projects. Yeah. I need to like get back oh, to because nice. they're still on her channel. I just need to finish them. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm bad about that. So I, I would tell you, yeah, I'm going to do that with you, but no, I'm not. <laughs> well, Jim just <laughs> said she would do it with me. So <laughs> we'll see. But even if, even if you don't, I'm, I'm just excited to do it myself because I've never done a Jada. Well, like, I, I have watched them over the years, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And and I always kick myself like why didn't I do it? Why didn't I do it? Lisa, yes, this is the same thing that I was working on earlier. It's Which, another like, blanket. Cool. Your room that you you're in, Ginger, just looks so cozy and warm with all of your blankets and all this yarn, and I, it just it just looks cozy and warm. It oh, does. It really oh. is. I love it because I'm sitting here looking outside at the snow. I've got yeah. all this yarn and I get to rearrange my room. I'm going to get those tubs out from back behind there because since I got rid of a lot of stuff last week and sent them off to my yarny friends, I now have some more room in my room. Some more room to make more stuff to give to you to, to auction off to your yarny friends. To go get more yarn. <laughs> I too. <laughs> to go get more yarn to make stuff to auction off to your yarny friends. It's like the rainbow fish. Oh, I love the rainbow fish. I do too. My favorite book. I used to read it to Amanda and Brandy and Veronica when they were baby girls. She's just so, like a whippy chicken <laughs> fish. How many, how many yards was that? I didn't catch that the yarn fairy. Okay. Oh, let me go back up to it. Um, and she's doing single strand and she's kicking our butts. Yeah. <laughs> So total yards is two single stranded blankets, 5,990.4, plus the two hats I made from Julie's Chicklet Lives. Holy smokes. That's all I'm <laughs> Yarn Fairy, are your fingers on fire? Because that's what it seems like it would be. Yeah, well, she said later, it's no wonder my hands are tired. Yes. Um, so, Joe, are you saying that you need a um, Tunisian hook? Oh, I um I got mine at my local yarn store about a year ago, but I know you can get them all over Amazon. Yeah, check on Amazon. There's great prices on Amazon. Yeah, and, um, and if you're new to it, I would go with like an actual hook without the cable. I don't know, it's just my personal preference. I like it. Yeah, don't don't order the the trash wooden hooks off don't of the Amazon. Like cables no 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 with the cables the wooden ones with the cables ended Unless up being the worst like hooks i've ever had on. if you like having your yarn catch every time that you go across it go ahead and get those otherwise <laughs> get the aluminum ones yeah what did you say what kind bill what was the rose what kind of hook what kind what? of hook? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Your pie hole 
Aluminum. In my world, it is aluminum. <laughs> uh, what was that rose sparkle one from this morning? Okay, so Wanda, the rose sparkle that um, we picked for my blanket, that it was actually from Walmart. That was Walmart. Ooh, I love that. So How this, does this one of the yarns because i want to do a because i had a sparkle yarn running through last week so i'm thinking i want a, a sparkle yarn every week running through so i had that like little twinkle yeah but um so it is sparkle acrylic yarn it's a mainstays yarn nice um, let me let me tell you um you guys who are just starting out with the tunisian crocheting go to amazon and just type in or use somebody's uh, use somebody's affiliate link. Do you have one, Julie? No, An affiliate no. link for Amazon? Okay, I'll I get do. one. Okay, yeah. Um, Amazon has those 11 Tunisian hooks, the aluminum. Aluminum. For <laughs> seven, channel. Aluminum. For $7.95. And they are the best Tunisian hooks. $7.95 I, I like for the whole set? For the whole set. The, the only ones I'm not going to use are the real thin ones, just because I think they'll be too bendy. Yeah. But, I mean, I haven't tried them yet either, so. Yeah. For me, for Tunisian, I like anything. I like the bigger size. Like, I like a six, yeah. mil, six and a half and up millimeter. Six yeah. and a half millimeter and up. I, I wouldn't do anything with the little tiny ones anyway. Oh, they've gone yeah. up in price a little bit, you, a little bit, just so you know. They've gone up to ten dollars. Oh, they have. Yeah, ten dollars is a really good deal. So, yes. what sizes are they? What? What? Oh, they are now. These are the tiny to the big. So it's got two to eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Millimeter. I, I'm talking about millimeters, not American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they even have nine, don't they? Um, this set does not. So let me see if there's another set that has. Okay. So Alice is saying, Mel, maybe you could gather some of the unfinished blankets and sew them together and make a montage oh, yeah. of data blankets. Yes, that's a great idea. I did see that. Wow. Um, I One of her blankets I really do want to do is, um, I think it was her first calendar blanket. And it's the one where she did big square, granny squares, but then she would do appliques on top of like the, the January's was a snowman. And um oh. mm -hmm. and it, it was adorable. So it was so cute. I remember, wasn't there a chick in it for like April? Yes. With an egg with or, a chick. Or, or, you know, buy, at, or you could buy like, she had another, an alternative pattern that you could buy separately if you didn't want the chick and you wanted to go with the bunny or it was vice versa, something like that. But one of them you could buy and, and then, but she still had all 12 months as a free, um, you know, free uh, tutorials. And then, or if she had a few months ahead alternatives and you can buy those yeah. by the, by the thingy, the thing of the bobbies. I'm looking for one with a nine in it. So give me a minute. Um, Joe asked, what length should I get? I Do like the, I don't like the super long ones, but I, I like the medium. Let's, let me see if I can find one of mine. I'm trying to figure out how long mine is. I don't know. Maybe 18 inches. But you don't need a super long one for this project because she doesn't have more than 38 stitches on at one time, I don't think. You know, no, I think I think the biggest the biggest one is an eight. Okay, I think this is the one that's nine six okay. six. I think this is it. Um I I had bought one. This one the, I had bought the same set but with a case, so it was a little bit more. Um, David, I think that Lori sent you a much higher quality, much better set than the ones, the ones we're talking about were those ones with the cables off of Amazon that they were, were like a no name brand. Yeah. Right? No name, nasty plastic, smell like plastic strings. I know the ones that Lori gave you are, are amazing. Yeah. Maybe they were the knitters prides that, uh, Suze is talking about. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. They that's not to say that if you find wooden Tunisian hooks with the cables on it, they aren't good. They can be good, but but if you're buying the cheap ones that are twenty dollars or less on Amazon, then they're not good. Yeah, um, I know that you know, like Chow Gu has some really nice ones as well. 
I mean, there are really nice mm -hmm. wooden hooks out there, bamboo hooks. Um, so Lisa, Lisa, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're liking it. Is it okay if I show everybody the uh, the hats you've been making, Lisa? Oh, I'd love to see them. Let me see if I can. I'm I'm looking it up on my other phone, so it's taken me a while. So Lori, I'm curious what 2022 goal it would break if you were to do the blanket project. Is it buying yarn? <laughs> because you can ask people to give you yarn as gifts. Then you're not technically buying it. There you go. <laughs> I'm using, I'm going to use all Red Heart Super Saver for the Jada blanket. It just feels like the right thing to do. Because they have the best colors. They do it's have great colors. It's all but, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't see in the I, the I I can't see in the feel of them, but they do they do have the best colors, and their ombre is the best ombre, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of other other companies say they have ombre, and it's not. So I'm putting the Amazon link in from Mel. I I love all of these hats that Lisa made. She made really good colors and yarn choices. You want to see? Of course. Yes. Hang on one second and I will make you big. Let me just get this link up here. You know what's hilarious is, okay, so when I pick up, pick this up and it's turned the wrong way, mm -hmm. I get very confused because I'm like, wait, where am I at on the, because it's, it doesn't look right until finally I figure, oh, I got to turn it around. Okay, now it looks right. Right. <laughs> okay. She, she sent me a bunch of pictures and the first ones are just, you know, the basic one color. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So cute. Wow, that's bright. Um, and then I love the very oh, wow. the that very painted cool. on that. Very pretty. Yes, that looked very pretty. And then this one where she used white down where the brim is. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's really making it her own, and that is so awesome. I know. And then this one, I think this one's my favorite. It's like the tweedy color. Ooh, that yes. is pretty. And at least what kind of yarn is that? I really, really like that. I like that yarn too. And then I don't know, it's a cross between that the other one and this one because I like the Ooh. oh, the I like the stripes. It almost looks like it you if you could do that with school colors, it'd be like a yeah, yeah. For a football game. Yes. Awesome. I love that. Yeah, me Thank too. Thanks so much for sharing that. Yes. So Holla Queen says, I'm still not, I'm so not ready for a new type of crochet. I'm still figuring out regular. That's okay. Yep. That's Take right. Your time. Take yep. your time. I don't, don't even sweat it. I have actually to finish some projects after I finish these two blankets, mm -hmm. I'm going to move on to my Tunisian project, which is the, the interlocking. Yeah. Tunisian, which I have not tried yet. Yeah. And, um, and I like that because you can use a regular crochet hook with that. Yeah. And, um, but I got to finish those, their pillow. I'm making a pillow front. You yeah. Know, pillowcases for 20 by 20 pillows. Yeah. For me. So yeah. how do you mean though, if you would like to try a project like, like what we're talking about, because Jada and Stitches does every year, she does a calendar blanket. So she teaches a new stitch every month and then incorporates it at the end of the year into a blanket. Right. She's done it for a long time. And I, I think this is the first time she's done something that wasn't crochet. Every other year it's been crochet. So those videos are all still out there. You know, try another one if you want. Try a different year. Last last year she did Mile a Minute. The year before she did, and this was beautiful. The Victorian one? Was that the year before? No, no, no. The year before that was the landscape, the farm landscape one. Oh, okay. The year before that, I think, was the Victorian one. Um, yeah. And that, that's really awesome for learning stitches. Learning stitches. Yeah. I, that's another one I started and I got through about five months of and I still need to finish. Mm -hmm. and, and these blankets, when you finish them, for the most part, they're going to turn out to be um, lap blankets mm -hmm. or baby blankets. They're mm -hmm. not very, they're not even big enough to call a throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, these, but, this year, is she, I think she said the squares are 12 by 12. And that's usually what she does is a 12 by 12, something yeah. like that. So it's a, like a three by four blanket. Yeah. yeah, so it's like a lap blanket that you can. But you could make it bigger by making like by going around the edges and putting you know different colors and, and then going around the whole edge. 
or using yeah. a bigger hook or a bigger size yarn and and or a bigger size yarn. Yeah, yeah. You know, make it oh. make it bigger. Which brings me to Ash. Yeah, Ashley. Um. She, oh, let's go over this one. She asked another question further down that I want to answer. Okay. All right. Let's answer. We're going to have to make this, I think, probably the last one because I just looked at the clock. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because I, I do I do have the Furl's Tunisian hooks. And I do, I love them a lot. I like my aluminum hooks better. Maybe that'll change sometime. But I do like my aluminum hooks. But the look of the furls, I just like it because it's so pretty. They and, are pretty. And I want to use it. Like, one. The, let me see. I'll get my Cruella. The Cruella is my favorite. Uh, yeah, it's just Cruella. It's not Cruella de Vil. I add the de Vil on. But the, right. I, yeah, I love the Cruella. <laughs> um, Ashley, I'm not sure. Um, are you talking about the hat? Okay, now this is what I did, Ashley, and I'm glad you brought up that it question. Might, it might be kind of thin. I'm not this, sure. This hat right. that I've it's been wearing the whole head time. Head. This hat that I've been wearing the whole time, I actually held a strand of the cloud cakes and some of my uh, um, ice yarn, DK weight yarn, which is just basically like the skinny cakes, any DK weight yarn. So I, I did that with this hat too. I held a strand with DK weight yarn of the cloud cakes. And uh, that would work perfectly. Wait, so did you double it? Is that what you're saying? You, you <laughs> use one strand of cloud and one strand of the DK? Yeah, to make it like a four weight size. Oh, okay, okay. Because I know that for my hat, I use a five weight. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Would that work for her? Yeah. That would work because technically the cloud cake is a four. Okay. Yeah, but it feels more a little more like a three. Okay. Gotcha. There's your answer, Ashley. I'm glad that Ginger knows because she knows all these new yarn types. I haven't seen the clouds yet. We don't have them in our store yet. Don't know why. Yeah, I, I really think you'd love that the, the feel of those. If you like a colorway that you enjoy, you see a colorway that you really like. Yeah, I wouldn't even worry about touching it first. I they, yeah, 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 I should order it. No, amazing. They feel amazing. They're ridiculous. They make me feel melty inside. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're so soft. I am totally and gonna you know I'm not a carrot something. fan. So yeah. Okay, uh, you guys. I think we should start this. Karen. Karen. Karen? No matter, I say aluminum, so it'll be Karen, whatever. Karen. I say Karen. You say <laughs> pecan or pecan or pecan? Pecan. I say pecan. I say I say pecan. <laughs> I say pee in the toilet, not in the can. <laughs> or pee in the can, depending on what you call it. Cute. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I think it's time to start the slideshow. <laughs> I think it's time. I think it's time. <laughs> All right, let me get to it. Uh, oh, so Janine has a differing opinion, um, which is totally, I'm not saying that in a bad way at all, Janine. I don't mean it that way. But she says she does not love the cloud cakes. Mm -hmm. Oh. So can you explain why you don't love them, Janine? Just so we can see, I, I can understand um, the difference. I love them, but is it, is it the usage of them or do you not like the way they feel? I actually like the way they feel better held with another yarn. Just because it it makes the other yarn feel so soft and squishy. Oh, got you. Okay. Well, um, hmm, that's interesting. Interesting. What? Sorry about this, guys. It looks like I have got the. Uh, you have the go I have it backwards. So, okay. Now we'll start from the beginning. Hey, I love you this know, picture. You know, uh, do you like that? I love that. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> so, yep, we're talking hats today. So, I thought we'd start by talking about different types of crochet hats because there's so many different types, and I certainly don't have all of them listed here. Mm -hmm. But um, I know that Ginger's actually going to be making a scraptastic beanie, and that first beanie there is actually also called the scraptastic beanie. <laughs> awesome. 
<laughs> but it was really cute and I just loved it. And I thought perfect for our stash buster oh, kind yeah. of challenge, you know? Yeah. Well, um, I'll mean, the, the Scraptastic 2022 theme. Okay, there you go. I don't remember what that one was called. Some of these I remember where they came from and others I don't. Right. Um, so the slouch hat is also very popular. Mm -hmm. And you, so if you make a um, the half double crochet beanie in the round can become a slouch if you just keep going. Keep going. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, so this slouch is by Nastasia. Is that how you say her name? Nastasia. Nastasia. Yeah. Nastasia. Yeah. 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 Um, so you've got berets. And I personally think there is nothing cuter than a little girl wearing a beret. Oh, especially not that little girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. no. She a button. She, um, it, little girls wearing berets always makes me think of that children's book. Is it Madeline? With the little girls and the nun and the, they're in Paris. Yeah, with Madeline. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so the cloche hat is one of my personal favorites. I mm -hmm. totally want to design a cloche hat. Everything I say today, I keep thinking, maybe I'll do that this weekend. Yeah, maybe do that tonight, right when we finish. Yeah. <laughs> I've already like in my head thought, okay, I got to design some mittens this weekend. Oh, maybe I'll design a hat this weekend. Um, but that is by, oh gosh, now I can't think of the name. Ashley, um, I think her name is Ashley, but it's um No, it's not. Um oh my God. John? Yeah, little John Yeah. Little John. Little John, little John. But I think her first name is Ashley, isn't it? Oh, is it? That it could be. But her channel is Little John's Yarn. Little yes, John. it, that the website, yeah, as well as Little John's. So I just love that close chat. I think that's so cute. That is so cute. And then um, Tams are also another popular one. And I just thought this was a cute, funny picture because it's so vintage. Mm -hmm. And that, that particular uh, link does go to that hat pattern. So I thought that was really funny. So cute. Okay, so um, crochet hats can be worked one of two ways. Got to be one of two. Well, actually, no, I guess it could be worked flat, too. I didn't even think yeah, of that. Oh, yeah. So three ways. Um, but you can either work it from the top up, or I'm sorry, the bottom up, <laughs> or the top down. And I was curious if you guys had a preference. I do. Do you? I guess I do like from bottom down. Or I, bottom I do top, top down. It's, that's, I cannot stand to make them bottom up and Me try and too. figure out how to get them to close up. I prefer to start with a magic circle and do top down. Me too. I, I like them all the way. I don't care. I like them all the ways because they're give me a day and it'll probably change as to which one my favorite is. I have that as long as I could. I am so hot. Wearing I know. Hey, you lost, I lasted us too. So uh, good. All of a sudden I was like, why am I so hot? <laughs> Um, uh, well, and then one of my favorite hats is I make is a cloth and then, and then you sew it together and then you close up the top. Yeah. Um, but that is, but the only reason why I like it that way is because I put a big old pom pom on top of it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't like it because it bunches up top and I'm not a big fan right. of it without a pom pom covering it. Yeah. Now for knit hats, that's the only way I like to make them is bottom up. Because then I just cinch them at the top. But because it's yeah. knit, it doesn't get as bunched up. Yeah. It's just are smaller, so it's easier to do that. But, yeah. I think we're we're in agreement, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, just, I just put up some hats that, you know, are my hat patterns for your consideration. I love this hat. You, you know what I wanted to do with this hat, Julie? Is I want to make it a little bigger. And uh -huh. then make a little smaller insert of a completely faux fur and slip it inside. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be scrumptious. Talk yeah. about making you hot because your head's so warm. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. actually have a bomber hat my husband got for me because it gets so cold here sometimes. Oh. And it's got the fur. It's it's actually real fur. Oh, wow. Um. But That's yeah, okay. it was a kitty cat, right? It was not a kitty cat. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but it is so warm. It is so warm. But um, yeah, if 
I, I can't wear it for very long because yeah. it's going to get too hot. It's so warm, though. So, yep, yeah, so the, the Mama's uh, Ear Flap Hat is super for super cold days, and the pattern is available on Ravelry. I have not done the tutorial for it yet. Um, it is coming. So. And it is so quick and easy to make. It really is. It really is. I, um, I love it. Don't be, don't be scared of the flaps because they are not hard. No, they're not hard at all. So this is my all-time favorite pattern. <laughs> I love it. I, I have made way too many of these. I only oh. have one head. I need to remember that. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've got one for every color. <laughs> I do. I actually started giving some away. I'm like, I don't need this many. Um, so yeah, so this one is the snow day beret. We had a snow day last year and I just decided to make a beret. And so there's a free tutorial and there's also a pattern on Etsy for that. And you can also, uh, if you'd like to minimize or if you'd like to make a smaller version, mm -hmm. you can make one. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check. It's so cute. Look at that. Yeah. It's not, it's not tuning in. There it, there it is. There it is. Oh. Yep. So it's there it is on little Emmy. Yep. Oh, you and I've got definitely make it adjustable. Yeah. I, yeah, and I've got the bigger one right there of me. With with mine on. Yeah. I made the big person one and a little person one. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah, I love that pattern. Is amazing. It, and it's super easy. It's not hard at yeah. all. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is the hat that I was just wearing. It's the most basic beanie ever. And I call it the Mike Nesmith because it reminds me of Mike Nesmith from the monkeys because I'm a <laughs> real nerd. <laughs> and so we made this uh, in the Chicklet Club um, in, in a two part live. So you can certainly check that out. I do not I did not write a pattern for it because it's it's the same pattern like everywhere. <laughs> Uh -huh. Mighty a little bit written a little bit later because I think we I, I I this is the same pattern that I follow. It's just your basic beanie. Yeah, it's a basic pattern. <laughs> um, if you watch the the slideshow, or if you actually you can even go to my website and um, on the slideshow, there's the the directions to make it there too. So perfect, super easy beanie. Okay, so as seen on TV, and actually I saw something oh. else on TV, and I couldn't grab my camera. Or my phone quick enough. Wow, did I just age myself by saying that? I couldn't find <laughs> my camera quick enough. I couldn't find my Kodomatic. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my son and I were watching Seinfeld, and they were at the Costanza's house, and there was an Afghan on the back of the chair, of course. Right, of course. Of course. But uh, the movie Suffragette, if you've never seen it, it's an amazing movie. But um, does that beanie look familiar? You stole her pattern. <laughs> Looks like yours. I swear I didn't see her on that movie before I made my pattern. It just happened to look a lot like mine. It, it does. does. It looks exactly like it. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. And she's so gorgeous anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a maker shout out every week or just a lot of weeks, I guess. Right? We had, had a little meeting. To let you guys know, um, to you know, know about other makers that are out there. Another, uh, yes, yes, I'm <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, this is Sunita. If you have, um, if you're subscribed to our newsletter, you've probably already read about Sunita because we actually did an article on Sunita in the newsletter this month. But she has been so inspirational to us, um, for just um, raising awareness for the Hat Not Hate campaign, mm -hmm. which is a campaign to raise awareness and hopefully, you know, start to end bullying a lot. Um, and for the Hat Not Hate campaign, um, all they ask is that people who knit or crochet to send them blue hats for kids and um, they take it from there. So it's a super easy way to feel good about crocheting and, um, you know, playing with yarn. <laughs> don't, don't get overly concerned about trying to find children. You, if you can find children's sizes and stuff, but this is also going to um, a teenagers who are basically young adults as far as head size goes. Right. So, 
Uh, so you can just make adult sizes, average adult Absolutely. sizes. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. So Sunita, hats, hats off to you. Yes. <laughs> Sunita has made over 260 hats in the last couple Whoa. of years for the Hat Not Hate campaign, and wow. she's still going. So I know she's already made some for this year. So that was just up to the end of last year. So, so not only is she making hats herself, but she's also raising awareness and inspiring others to join. So way to go, Sunita. Yes, Sunita every, awesome. every time I hear Sunita's name, I automatically, she's paired in my mind with blue. Yeah, that hat not for hat not hate. Yeah, she's amazing. So um, she also does have a YouTube channel and an Instagram, and the links are right there on the slideshow, so you guys can click on those. And also the hat not hate campaign where it's underlined, there is a link to the website for hat not hate, so you can get involved. Okay, now I'm going to be quiet for a little while. <laughs> Yay! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're teasing. You're just teasing. Um, so uh, this this is all my stuff. I, I probably should have said Mel's favorite hat pattern instead of my favorite hat pattern. Um, I actually didn't make any of these this year, but I have made so many of them uh, last year. Uh, and I'll probably make a ton next year. But uh, this year I was working on the towel toppers. But this, this, this is one of those hats that's created in a way in a cloth. So you make a, a cloth. And, and so you need to make it as long as your head circumference is around. Mm -hmm. okay. And then um, and then you sew it together and you bunch up the top and you flip it over and you put a beam, uh, a pom-pom on top. I meant to do a slide on this and I forgot to. So um, somebody pointed out to me, so you can buy these faux fur pom-poms, but yeah. I would suggest looking for a faux fur pom-pom with a snap. And yeah. then sew in the snap so you can take the pom-pom off, wash the hat like normal, mm -hmm. and dry it, and then put the pom-pom back on because you cannot wash and dry those pom-poms, those faux fur pom-poms. So, um, and I meant to put that and I completely forgot, but get the pom-poms with a snap. I didn't do that, and I've got these a couple of hats with like this. It looks like a cotton ball now instead of faux fur. So oh, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it 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 kind of does like Barbie's hair does in yeah. the in the <laughs> dryer. Yes. yes. So um, make either know that you're going to have to hand wash it and, and line dry it mm -hmm. or flat dry it flat, or get a snap, and that way you can treat the hat as the yarn dictates. And then do whatever you want with the palm. Yeah. Um, and so. a way to get around it for a yarn pom pom too is when you put when you attach your pom pom, leave a nice long tail or two nice long tails on your pom pom and just tie it in a bow. So sometimes you can remove your own pom pom too. Yeah. It's just yeah. a thought. And that plus you can good. switch out the colors on the pom pom if you want to put a different yeah. color, you know. On yeah. the, another thing I I've seen people seeing it now, like you know, you know, I'm picturing, right? You know how you have sometimes you have this this area where you put the wine glasses and they're in a line, but mm -hmm. instead you'll have like this hook, and on the hook will be hanging pom poms for your <laughs> interchangeable and your interchangeable pom poms. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I love that. I'm all lined up. Yeah, I'm all lined them. up. So then, but this particular pattern was created by Make and Do Crew. Now I do have a pattern, and you'll see that coming up. That I, I where I um, altered this a little bit. I'm not writing it as a pattern because it's this, it's pretty much the same thing as this. I just did a tutorial on how to switch colors in case you want the brim to be a different color from the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that's my Santa hat tutorial, which we'll get to that here in a little bit. I just love this one. I'm, I'm reading the comments and um, I really want to make a hat now. Darn it. I need to focus. Finish the test. <laughs> it just makes me funny. I We're understand. trying to inspire you. I'm sorry. Darn fairy. Um, yes, I have added a new dimension to Barbie's world. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a quick write up of how to do your, this, this is my second favorite hat to make. Um, this is your basic half double crochet in the round beanie. Um, I, that chart there, I know it's super duper tiny and you can't see a dang thing, but 
If you click on it, it takes you to the website for the person that compiled it and has that chart on their website. Um, one thing it didn't tell you, and here's the thing, is when you're making a beanie in the round, uh, you want to know the size of the crown of your head. So there's, you, you know, you have to understand how much it is this way in diameter, and then where you need to keep on increasing for that length, and then you come down and you just go straight down. So it's about to here is where you need to you need to um, do your increases, and then and then it, you can make it straight from there. So as long as you understand what the diameter of this part of your head is, that's how much you increase, and then it's just straight one to one after that. And um, for those of you that may not know how to do an increase, it is you start uh, for your basic um, half double crochet beanie, you start with six stitches. So you use a magic circle, you start with six stitches. And then to increase your first round is going to be um, two, two half double crochets into the stitch of the row below. And then as you get into your third round, it's one half double crochet and then two. The next round is going to be, and it, you just continue that pattern until you get it increased to the size that you like. So for example, my crown of my head, I think is about six and a half inches. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how, how, about how long I need to make mine before I start going straight and just doing a regular size down. Yeah. Yeah. So I know for me, I, um, I, I measure my head like with, with the hat, you know what I mean? Like I keep trying it on. Right. And, make, it, um, make it to fit. Yep. And make I do that to too. Fit. But it, once you know this number, yeah, everything else is cake. Yep. Absolutely. And I really, I think this is right, you guys. Isn't that right? It's about this part of your head is all you need to know that di diameter because from there you can make it straight. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, it's distracting from my part <laughs> The allure of the new hat. It's um, it. There were some other um, there were some other interesting comments in here. I think when we were talking about the pom poms, oh, you know, that's perfect. I like that. so I have a button on the inside and wrap the yeah. elastic around the button. Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of people do, that do that. So that's a good idea too. Yes. Um, Terry uh, has made five hat not hate uh, made in December, so Ooh. she's gotten started already. Good Ooh, job, no, Terry. Yeah. So, okay, let me get to the next slide. Okay. So that's what we we're talking about. That's just a quick um, write up of the um, of a uh, of a just a quick basic half double crochet beanie. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay, and these it's are such a great beginner project too. Yeah. Because uh, yes. you can finish it in a decent amount of time and just and feel just so satisfied that you made it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, this one, uh, this, okay. So these are two hat, uh, one's a pattern that I have not done a tutorial for yet, which Ginger, thanks for that picture, because that is actually the main picture on all of my, er, everywhere where I have the pattern listed. <laughs> Cause awesome. it's the right picture. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to use this picture. Yeah. Um, but, um, the first one is what I was talking about that, that hat right there, the Santa hat is one that I created based off the make and do crew hat. It's just that this particular tutorial shows you how to um, change color. So it's not change color on the row below, it's changing color in the same row. Um, so it shows you how to do that. And then, uh, and then, so I use the one color as a brim and then, um, and you could probably even take a few stitches off of it, but I like a big kind of floppy, cozy hat. Yeah. And then I do the big white palm, and that makes it a Santa hat. But you can do any color combinations on that. Just yeah. Like a Santa hat. That's uh, what makes it super fun. You can just experiment. Yeah. yeah. And then the other hat is a, uh, it is actually a messy bun hat. Um, that's what I was wearing. That's the same hat that I was wearing here. Um, and it's made around an elastic. So um, I, did, I did that. See here, it's made around an elastic. Mm -hmm. I did that because I love my pom-poms and I love making hats, but I found that they just never really worked for me because I always, uh, always wear my hair in a bun. When I have it long, it's always in a bun. So now I did run out of yarn on this hat. So I have one less row around. Um, I pulled it down on the wrong side. My, my bun is not even. So, but anyway, <laughs> 
That is what this hat is for. And it's a half up and down um, stitch pattern. So nice. You know, it's the up and down stitch, but it's a half. Instead of a double crochet to a single crochet, it's a half double to a single. Yeah. Lori uh, Armstrong says, I will not start a new hat until I finish the two unfinished object hats. She says to herself, on the way to the yarn shelf. No. Sit back down, Lori. <laughs> Lori. <laughs> Sit back down. If you're working a bottom up hat and you just want to work on another hat, just finish it off where you are. It's a headband. You're <laughs> warmer. You it's all good. There you it's go. Like Lucy from um, Peanuts. I don't know if you guys watch the Peanuts gang, like, you know, because I'm kind of obsessed with them. But Lucy always has that little teeny tiny blue hat. That's what it looks like. Like it was never like finished. Somebody didn't finish it. Yeah. It's so small. All right. So I know that Julie already did the um as seen on tv however but it's so fun though it's so i fun. was watching this week the the first episode this of this season the final season of this is us and lo and behold look what's yeah. on the, of the couch yeah uh, this is one of the flashback scenes where the kids that are now like you know 30 i think they just turned 40 41 maybe yeah um, they uh this this is him as a kid so this uh -huh. is what uh 80s probably yeah um but yeah that that is uh that i believe that's a uh, crochet so it's and you can't see it well because it looks like the brown is holes but it's it's interchanging green and brown oh yeah, you're so right i thought it was just like big granny square holes yeah but no it's right. brown um and it, i could see it better on my screen but it's hard to see that when i took a picture of my computer screen i I'm know that's how i do mine too <laughs> but and isn't that a cute little boy he is cute hey and i don't know i have to say this um mostly to ginger because we all do this with crochet when we're watching tv we, we see crochet and we're like oh look at that oh look at that how do i make that you know but i don't know if you do this ginger but i do the same thing with plants Oh, yes. And we were watching Book of Boba Fett. And if you're a Star Wars fan, you get it. And if you don't, that's okay. Uh -huh. But I just looked over at Todd and Peter and I said, what I really want to know is how they got that potted foam onto Tatooine. Because I know they're not native to Tatooine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, you're so weird. <laughs> that's always, always looking at the plants and the crochet in the background. Yeah. Speaking of Boba Fett, and I know this is totally off topic, but I have not been able to get into that like I have the Mandalorian. Hmm. Um, but I mean, maybe I just need to start from the beginning because the, the first one I kept dozing off in. Yeah, so, I'm enjoying it. I am. Okay, so maybe I just need to restart it, and maybe I'll be I'll be good. Yeah, um, I, I like the backstory. It's it's pretty good. I like it, and I have a whole new appreciation for sand people. But you know. For sand people, sand That's people, nice. Tuscan Raiders, you know. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. All right, we'll let Ginger talk. Okay. Okay. These are all things I have okay. tutorials for, <laughs> and each these are all hats, and uh, you it's it's. It, when you click on each of those links, it'll take you to that tutorial so you can make that particular hat. I was really I was really lucky that I made five hats so, and they all fit on this page. Yeah, they fit perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I so, love the bucket hat. That is my absolute favorite hat that uh, Ginger has designed. Oh, thank I you. love that bucket hat. And I gave my bucket hat away to my bonus mom on Christmas oh. because she liked it so much. She loves hats. And um, she put it on and I'm like, you just keep that hat. It looks so oh. cute on her. And um, so now I've got to make another one. Nice. That's okay. I yeah. can do it this weekend. You can make one of every color. Oh, the other <laughs> like this weekend, there, there's just a limitless number of hours, you know, apparently in my oh, head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you off on Monday? Yes. Yes. Okay, it's so go. funny because the teachers were kind of like, oh, well, it's going to snow, but we're off anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't be spoiled because it's not right? a snow day. You'll get it back in the spring. Right. <laughs> 
Teachers love snow days more than kids. <laughs> uh, yeah. They can get stuff done that they can't get done while the kids are there. Yeah. Well, they don't go to work, so they stay home and live in their pajamas just like the kids. So. Oh, right. oh okay. I guess I can understand. I, that's my everyday. Yeah, it's, yeah. Snow days for teachers are exactly like snow days for kids. They just stay home and eat, you know, eat cookies and uh, wear their pajamas and make cocoa and that sort of thing. So. And watch, and watch uh, you know, Disney Plus shows and... Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So, yeah, everybody, I love that one, though. Oh, and the bubblegum ice cream beanie is good. The bubblegum ice cream beanie. This, uh, this, pat this will take you straight to a PDF pattern of that hat for the bubblegum yeah. ice cream beanie if you click on that. So yeah, this was the very, one of the very first patterns that I wrote. Yeah, okay. I tested that pattern for you and I loved it. I used the same yarn and everything. It was so cute. Mm -hmm. I will I say though, my dog Willie got a hold of the pom pom. Oh, no. So now my bubble gum ice cream beanie has no pom pom. That's okay. It's okay. Perhaps um, you can make another pom pom sometime. <laughs> yes. I do have to put this up here. Just because Ashley is on the same wavelength as Mel and I. Um, me, the first time I saw Return of the Jedi. How did those Ewoks braid Leia's hair? It makes no sense. Turns out Ewoks have two digits and an opposable thumb. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I, I that. That good. mostly into it. <laughs> that is good to know. <laughs> oh, look at this pretty, pretty hat. Okay, so this is the Furl Chevron beanie. And I made mine, it's got a, a double a double brim that, you know, you fold it under so it, you make it a little bit longer. And then I haven't made a palm for mine yet, but I'm definitely going to. It's kind of like the same thing Mel was saying that you wanna put a big, big fluffy palm on there because when you put it on your head, it's, it slouches you know, a bit. it slouches a bit. And uh, I just used a skinny cake for mine. Okay. Um, you use a three weight yarn, but I really love the look of the chevron beanie part. And if you click on that chevron beanie picture, it'll take you straight to the furl free patterns and free patterns page on their website. And you'll find a bunch of free, free furls patterns. Okay. Ooh. So there is a question, Ginger. Where is the pattern for the blue hat Ginger has on in the beginning of this? So were you wearing a blue hat, Ginger, in the beginning of our video today? Or we all had hats on. A blue hat that she was wearing on the um, on the um, thumbnail. Yes. <coughs> on the thumbnail. Oh, oh the blue goodness. hat and the thumbnail. Oh, that's yours, Julie. That's your uh, that's your snow day beret. Oh, the snow day beret. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's that goes to. Did you put on the Snow Day Beret, Julie? Did you put your uh, tutorial link. and Ravelry link? Yes. Okay. Yep. yep. So, so that's is, so in the in the slideshow, P. It will be me wearing the red hat and the sunglasses. It's the same hat. So you can just click on the links to there. Um, these slides will be up on our website tomorrow and they'll also be on our Facebook tomorrow. Um, or you can just, if, if you're not interested in going to those places, you could go to my channel, which you're on right now, and just look for the Snow Day Beret tutorial. So you can find it really easy that way too. There you go. This, this is that hat, the same one we were just looking at. Okay. And see, oh, well, it's, it's super see. long. Then what you do, I haven't sewed it yet, or it's super long. Yeah, it is. But what you do is you, you fold it under and stitch it together to make the double brim. Oh, okay. See, like that. And then I just have to stitch that on. And then and then it's a, like a slouchy. Oh, yeah. Okay, Very yeah, nice. and I see, I see what you mean. Like, it, it comes together better if you not have a nice good palm right there. Yeah. It's pretty with one of those rainbow faux fur palms from Amazon. Oh, that would look cute. It would look yeah. so, so cute with that. Okay, these hats are upcoming patterns and tutorials that I'm going to do my darndest to get done this week. So that's the pine cone, 
Um, and that's the the one that I uh, my my Santa hat that you modified or was inspired to make you something for you to make something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, and the other one is a new one. And that's the one you did with the cloud cakes with another. Yeah, that's yeah. this one right here. And that mm -hmm. is a, a cloud cake and a, a three weight DK yarn from ice. OK, ice, ice, baby. And and this is yeah, I got my out that the other one is just the plain eye alpine beanie. It's not the alpine cone beanie. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll we'll just you. we'll just say that. Uh, there's was, a slight oh go ahead. Oh, I was watching um I don't know, we were flipping through YouTube the other night and um Gosh, it was it was an alpine stitch hat. Now I can't remember who the designer was. It was so funny. I was just like, oh, Ginger did it has a hat with that alpine stitch. Yep, I changed a few things on it. I, and I like this version better than the alpine cone mini. I did see this um, comment earlier, Hello Queen. I did see you earlier. And um, I didn't want to interrupt Mel, but I was chuckling to myself. I'm in mine in red. I'm gonna have to look for some raspberry colored yarn Me too. That is awesome. I have to send it to Granny D. Yeah? Why, yeah. why Granny D? Because oh, she was talking about I forget what exactly the conversation was, but it's some I don't know if Granny D had a raspberry beret. I'm not sure. She oh, okay. Outdoor, outdoor. <laughs> I love that song. Uh, okay. So Patty Barker and Cindy H are both saying that Fiber Spider put up the Alpine Stitch hat. So maybe that was the the one I saw. I didn't, I didn't click on it, but I wanted to say it was a woman that did it. So there's probably more than one. I'm sure there is. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, Let now, me get to the next slide. I'm sorry. Are you done with this one? Uh, nope. I want to talk about this hat. This next hat, the one on the very end, is the one I'm wearing now. And mm -hmm. it's a slight variation of Mel's Santa hat. Um, it's a little, it's a little more fitting because I made some modifications to it. So it's not as um it's not as full at the top. You can make it a little more fitting. And uh I used the cotton cakes and uh, a skinny cake held together to make this. Okay. And this is just a good basic hat. It's yeah, it is. It's a it it's looks a good. Toasty. It it makes me think of the. It makes me think of the hat that Liam Neeson wears in that movie where the wolf is chasing him. Oh yeah. Do you know that movie? <laughs> yeah, I do. That movie is intense, but yeah, that's what it makes me think of. Liam Neeson. Because okay. I'm, that's me. And I'm, you know, weird. <laughs> Are you ready for the next stitch? Yeah. the next slide? The next yeah. stitch. And I just have to ask you, it says Irene Pepperberg. Yeah, uh, it was a originally on this slide. Oh, okay. I was yeah. like, who's Irene Pepperberg? I have because I used that same slide and, and I deleted that name. I noticed that too. Oh. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. I'll delete it before I post. Oh, th this is what I named those three beanies. Oh, okay. This is the this is the Anthony beanie because I made it on his birthday. Okay. The other one, oh, this one is the Alpine Stitch beanie. Okay. And this one is the Scraptastic beanie. Okay. okay. Ashley is saying, Ginger, do you still have that hat in the middle? And do you want to sell it to me? Oh, who said that? Is the Ashley. Alpine one? The Alpine Stitch one, right? That's the one in the middle. Yeah. Looks like she still has it, Ashley. You guys will haggle in the, haggle in the <laughs> chat. Uh, 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 hit up in the DMs. <laughs> yep. Hit her up. Eat, eat email crafter. me. Goodbye, Redneck Crafter. Goodbye, Michelle. Be safe with that Goodbye, weather. Michelle. Yeah, Ashley, email me about that. Bust oh. your stash 2022. Okay, these are what I've been busting my stash on. Uh, the two hats I just showed you, those two, the Anthony hat and the uh, 
I bust, should have done a slide like this. I forgot. Bust your stash, and then I I made that blanket last week. I love it. And oh, it, you did awesome busting your stash. I you have been so great busting my stash. You know what? So me and Julie are enjoying being ahead of Ginger right now. But the fact of the matter is, if she had saved her labels from this bust your stash right now, <laughs> she would be ahead of us. Well, what do you yeah. like because because she didn't save her labels it didn't happen right well you know mel and i said it doesn't really matter because she's going to catch up anyway uh, so, so, so yeah. we need to just enjoy the moment you know <laughs> while we can because we know it won't last <laughs> pretty much i'll just start counting like in september or october <laughs> you'll still Maybe be you'll us. Still fly by us you will still fly by us okay I'm assuming that you guys put these slides in here. I did. Okay. I just was like, all of a sudden there's these weird pet pictures <laughs> and I don't think that they came with the slideshow. So there's a reason they're here. I'm just going to leave them. The dog Maybe was at day or something. I don't know. The dog was actually already in the slideshow. And I thought that is too good of a picture to let go. Dogs Aww. can smell your feelings. They can. And then the cat is saying to the dog who is looking at her, if I promise to miss you, will you go away? <laughs> I are, don't think that cat's really going to miss him. No. Dogs are so sweet. They are. Oh, they are. I, I got a very sweet kitty right here that's warm in my bag. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's right here. Well, well, next, Tammy. next one is about kitties. There you go. Cats, cats love to sleep. This is a good place to sit. I will sit here. <laughs> I love that. That is and, a good place. And then the cat's looking at the other one's butthole. And he says, well, that's just rude. <laughs> cat, that is the highest compliment. Oh, gross. Mm -hmm. He's like, here, check me out. Highest compliment. Oh, I I made a gingerbread house for Christmas. Uh, let me know if you want the recipe. <laughs> oh, I have yeah, to make a gingerbread house. And then that middle one that 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 is speaking to me. The okay. five love languages are yarn, cats, coffee, cake, and stopping my counting to talk to you. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then I saw this one. This is I forget what his name is. He's a pretty, pretty well yarn punk. And uh, that is Jigglypuff. He crocheted Jigglypuff. And does anybody know what Jigglypuff's powers are? I, I know there's somebody that does. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It's not somebody in my house, but I'm sure somebody does. Ro probably does, but she's not listening. Jigglypuff uh, sings and makes, pe makes people go to sleep. And then Jigglypuff will draw on their faces. Oh, oh, that's why he has it all over his face. I wondered. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. I love that so much. Oh, I have to put this up. Oh, that's the wrong one. No, that's the right one. Cat. It sits. It, it, sits. Sits. it sits. That's yeah. right. Oops. Why are you staring at me like that, Stella? So more, poor Stella is a little injured right now. So she has not been hanging out with me. And my, my orange tabby... If it has been loving it because he's taken over her spot. <laughs> so Denise says, my dog Willie is a PTSD dog, not trained, but if we are watching an intense movie or a close sporting event, he stands between us and the TV and barks uncontrollably. Oh my oh. God, that's hilarious. So he's wow. trying to keep you, keep you safe. Good doggy. That reminds me of a time. <laughs> When Ro was real little, and my husband, a big football fan, he was in the in the living room watching football, and he's like, rah, 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 to it, right? Yeah. So Ro goes in front of the TV, and I, this is like, she wasn't even talking yet. She goes at like two, maybe, you know? Yeah. And she she turns around at the TV, and she goes, I was like, oh my gosh, why was I not recording that? Cute. It was adorable. Anyway, it just reminded me of that. <laughs> okay, so I have um, I have to ask Ginger, was that your last slide? Uh, look at the next one and see. Well, that's why I was asking it because I actually closed the the window. Let's see. 
Well, I had I had our uh, yarn hookers website. Oh I right, had, okay, all right. I had so that. I was like, should I pull it back up or should I just leave it be? Don't worry okay. about it. It was it was a you could click the picture for a link to the yarn hookers website. Oh okay. And uh, then a thank you page, but there wasn't much on it. So okay, <laughs> I'm totally good. All right, so I'll just stop that stream then. Okay. Um, Lori says, I'm pretty sure that Speed Demon Ginger could bust through my meager stash in a week. Lori, I hear you. She could probably bust through mine in an hour. So We would have fun. I just come so Ooh, Wouldn't that be a fun job just to go to people's houses and, and uh, bust, bust, their stash, bust their stash for the... <laughs> it, you know, they say there is the perfect job for everybody, and I think we just found yours. Yeah. Bust everyone's stash. Just bust go, everyone's stash. Just bust it up. <laughs> That's yep. awesome. That is so funny. Our queen knows all about Jigglypuff. Oh yeah, I forgot that she gets she gets pissy about them sleeping and then draws on them. <laughs> that is so funny. So what is Jigglypuff from? Is that a Pokemon? A Pokemon? That's what I thought. Yeah. And it seems really funny. funny. And she sings so pretty. I'm going to have to look into Jigglypuff because it sounds like someone I'd kind of like to hang out with. Oh, yeah. She's cute. Oh, when you said that would be so much fun. What? Uh, I just I just love the sound of that. Just going to your everybody's house and helping them bust their stash. I think we need to start doing like some games with Ginger and her yarn knowledge. You know, just like holding up a ball of yarn, just to see if she can tell us what it is. What it is. Ooh, yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Like, you um, know. But the only problem is. Just is like that holding it up and saying, okay, Ginger, what is this? That the. That it's, looks like. I'll I think give it's, you a clue. Alpine? Oh, it's a brunette. Yeah. But it's not the brunette blanket. Is it like. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. A puzzle? It's like... No. Um, okay, y you win. I have no idea. It's a five weight. 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Any it thoughts? doesn't look like... Oh, it's got wool in it. It's definitely not Bernat Blanket. I have no idea. It is Bernat Symphony. Are you going to be back? Or, like, you're, are you dads tonight? Okay. Not okay. okay. I don't think. Isn't that a fun game? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I seen <laughs> symphony. Burnett, symphony. But wouldn't that be a fun game to play with Ginger? <laughs> Test her yarn <laughs> knowledge. Just hold up a ball of yarn. See how many clues. You oh know, like, like name that tune. Oh name my gosh. Tune. Ginger, how many clues does she need? That would be so much fun. Like this one, she'd get. She'd get this one. Like. In a oh, yeah. Uh, is, is big Twist Twinkle. Twinkle? Yeah. See, that's what I mean. Like, she got that one with no clues. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one. Well, yeah, but, I had to give you something. Here's a blanket's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Yay. Ooh, I, I bet she'll know this one. Ooh, let me see this. Is that a Simply Soft? It's not as simply soft, and it's a very small little skein. It's oh, um, I know what it is. It's a uh, lion prand, uh, true boo. Yes, it is lion brand true boo. That's yeah. awesome, Ginger. You're like a yarn savant, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I speak to my favorite yarns like I do my favorite, you know, dish at a restaurant. So it's mm -hmm. rare that I venture out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, See, that's a bad thing about loving every single kind of yarn. Yeah, I know. No. I, I do. I get stuck on certain ones, but um, I do venture out a little bit every once in a while, but not not on the level that you do, Ginger. Yeah. yeah. Nobody yeah. should reach this level of ridiculousness. <laughs> Lori uh, decided the other day to make a project for Melanie Ham's channel uh, to honor her, um, yeah. and that seems resolution breaking worthy. So, yeah, I was not familiar with her channel. I know a lot of people were very heartbroken 
um, that, that her passing. Yeah. So I'll have to check out her channel because I there's so many of them out there. I just didn't I never never saw that one. Yeah, that's a really hers good. Is, hers is. Uh, it's a lot of crochet, but it wasn't purely crochet. So it was a lot of uh, craft stuff, but mm -hmm. but the yarn crafting that she did was crochet. So she had a lot of crochet tutorials. Um, gotcha. Uh, yarn Fairy says the Yarn Geek can come to New York and you and I can spend the next two years busting my stash together. <laughs> there just may be another year's worth at the end of those two years. Well, <laughs> of course, because as the old yarn goes out, you're going to need to replace it. Uh, Harlequin uh, finished her diamond painting. Good job, Harlequin. Yay. So nobody's saying that uh, Buster Stash 2022 means don't buy new yarn because that's not going to no. happen. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, no, we still got to buy the yarn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jess, Jess Magnet says, Ginger, I have a stash to challenge you with. <laughs> uh, thank, you. thank you, Lisa. It was a very easy shawl to make. It is very, very I pretty. I really think it's all V-stitch and then the bobbles at the bottom. And it's just a long rectangle you fold. Easy, easy peasy one. It is beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Hey, Mama Kitty's here. <gasps> yeah, Hi, Mom. Hi, Kitty. Mom, I've gotten this far on this one. Way to go, Jen. I just show my mom. Of course you do. Yeah, she uh, she gave me this yarn not too long ago. So I know the ice yarn came from her. Right? Yeah, um, the ice yarn came from her, and all the yarn I'm using in this blanket came from her. Awesome. It's a uh, like different. Well, no, I'm using a few of my home spuns, but the main color for sure came from her. This Dang this it. weird green. It's pretty. I love weird green. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, Barbara says, Ginger, you could do that with Kim's stash of yarn and all the vintage yarn. I could totally do it. Here we go. Lori says, I actually found her while looking for tutorials for sewing oh. fabric face masks. Oh, so that was a little bit ago probably. I gave my sewing machine away recently. Oh, wow. Oh, you did? Yeah, Ro just did. got one for my sister. Oh, yeah. I know you. I remember you telling me that one. It was a I had a really nice sewing machine that was given to me. Um, and uh, I used it, but I just, I was not good at sewing. And finally, I was just like, I'm going to give it to someone who can just use it. It's just taking up space in my house. And it was nice. It was a nice faff. There was a. Um, wow. A video I was watching, you know that channel I sent you with that organizing girl, and I told her, told you that I really liked her, her personality, her style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a whole video that she's done about getting rid of toxic things. And one of the things that she brought up was crafts for hobbies that you haven't touched. If you haven't even touched in a year, you're looking at it like I really should do something with that. And then you feel guilty. So that makes it toxic. So yeah. You get it out of your house. Yeah. And I was like, oh, because it brings you down. It's not like, does this spark joy? Uh, you, yeah, you just look at it like as a personal fail, I think. Yeah, like in tread, she was mentioning treadmills um, oh, yeah. and, you know, that you never use and, and stuff like that, that it becomes a toxic thing in your house. I'm like, wow, right. that's that's really at it. Yeah. 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 Well, you no. know me, Mel. No, oh, no, you I haven't used it in three weeks. It's out. Yeah. No, no, no. I know you don't need that woman at all. Uh, no, I do though. There are some things though. It's 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 the things that are out of sight that I get like that with. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. Well, she talks about the personalities of cleaning uh, and another thing, and she was talking about like some people are butterflies and some people are bees and um and and just I was like, okay, so she's got this down. Anyway, I just like her personality. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, Ooh, Hello Queen is going to the Spin Right Factory store next week. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds like a blast. That yeah, sounds was. dangerous. <laughs> they, yeah. Well, it, it, people were telling me, because I found on um, Mary Maxim, I'm going to show it to you real quick, this kit. And I've been, I'm like, this is crazy cute. I probably won't make it for like five years, but I want to get this kit uh, because. They're 25% uh, off right now. 
well, no, no, no. I can't get it right now because I'm, I'm on a spending freeze. I don't know how much my car is going to cost. But I am. But it'll go back on sale again. But look at that little kid. It's. Oh, it's, wait. Let me make it big so we can all see. Blanket. Hang on, Mel. Okay. I went to so see. It's a crocheted baby blanket. Little oh, baby. wow. Okay. Now, let me find the one that's inside because they also have it inside. And you get a better sense of how big it is. That is really cute. If I can find it. Alice wants to know, has anyone seen the new Ted Baker knit sweaters as a funky new design they've done in Tarsha back to front and inside out? I have no clue. I have not. I, I have you not. guys will find this, I promise you, so you can see and get a better idea of the size. I don't, who is, I've never heard of Ted Baker. I haven't either. Well, actually, I have an uncle named Ted Baker, but I'm guessing that's not the same person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, wow, that is really, really nice. Are the beards three dimensional or are they crocheted in? No, I believe that this is all like um, Tunisian or, or tapestry or something. I have to look, but um, okay. yeah. I, 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 when I look at it close up on the picture, I don't think it's uh, like appliques or anything like that. Okay. I think Crocheted. Yeah, it does look wow. like it's crocheted in. It's beautiful. Really pretty. But it's so that's a very complex. They call it an intermediate. I would say it's probably intermediate to advanced with all the the color changes and stuff. Uh huh. But um, I I just really like it, and and uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'll get it next time it's on sale. But right now I'm on a spending freeze because I I have no clue how much my car is going to cost. So oh yeah, yeah. I'm on a spending freeze too. <laughs> Uh, Lisa says, I'm going to try to save some money to go up and buy more yarn to make more blankets. I took 10 up to the VA hospital Tuesday. And we had an appointment there. That's Is amazing. that the VA in uh, Topeka, Lisa? Because I could probably take some up there, too. I would love to. You could spare a few. I, th I think so. Or just, you know, I could finish up some of these blanket whips that I have because they're not real far from being finished. Yeah. I, I think you could spare a few, just a few. <laughs> it, it, it does make you feel so good. It really yeah. does. Yeah. And, and now that I know that I've got a place where I can donate mine, it's like I can't wait to make more because right. I know where they're going to go. You know what I mean? Right, that's, right. That's exciting. Um, so Hello Queen uh, says that she is excited about going to spin right, but her bank account is not. Ooh, I hear you. <laughs> And Sarah says, bit late to the party, but hello, everyone. Welcome, Sarah. Happy Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And look who oh. else is here. Angie's here. Angie. Sarah, I'm going to send you an email tonight. Are you okay. You're the only special one here. Huh? Am I going to get an email too? Uh, or is Sarah the only special one here? Because it's. So oh, Sarah was our winner. Yeah, for the December oh, yeah, yeah, challenge. Now I get it. Now I get it. I'm yeah. sorry. So yeah. slow. So slow. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a minute, actually, Mel. I was like, wait, why? <laughs> I think that this is so funny that Ted Baker is a fashion designer because if you knew my uncle. He is definitely a t-shirt and jeans guy. <laughs> nice. He is, so he's not a fashion designer. We don't have to. Okay. Not my, to. not my Ted Baker. <laughs> my Ted Baker was actually named. My, my mom told me that he was named after the baseball play, player, Ted Williams. Oh. Yeah. So my uncle's middle name is William, I guess. Ted William Baker. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Kitty. Oh. Um, y'all, it's the weirdest thing. I am making a corner to corner blanket. I hate making blankets, but also have never done a corner to back, corner to corner blanket. Oh. That's just funny, Lacey, because I am making a corner to corner blanket too. And the reason I always go back to the corner to corner is because it's so mindless. And you know, like at any point you can get to a certain point and go, okay, I'm half done. And then the second half kind of, it feels like it goes faster it doesn't but it feels like it goes faster because it gets smaller and smaller i don't know there's just something about making the corner to corner that i like um sarah, says, oh, sorry. Oh, oh sarah said that t-shirt and jeans is on trend oh maybe my uncle is the fashion designer it is the tom baker i'm so <laughs> trendy <laughs> 
Um, okay, I have a hot question. What's the difference between a beret and a tam? Looks like, yeah, well, at least what I, and it, this is just me looking at the picture, so I could be wrong. It looks like the tam has more up top, and it's also mm -hmm. even all around. Whereas yeah, and I think it can be a little that straight, and then ha it comes down a little bit at the fold. Yeah, I think it's like, yeah, I think it's just basically bigger and poofier or something. Yeah. Than the beret. The beret oh. is French. The tam is French Canadian. <laughs> So Janine knew who exactly I was talking about. The Clutterbug. I didn't even mention her name. And I had Yeah, to I saw that she said Clutterbug. She's Canadian. Yeah. yeah. But that's who exactly who I was talking about, Clutterbug. And <coughs> we were talking about the um I, I really she you guys, if you haven't checked her out and you like uh get like to get inspired by other people teaching, talking to you about decluttering, because I need it in such a bad way. Um <laughs> Not decluttering so much as cl the cleaning part of it. I can declutter, but part of cleaning is decluttering. So I think I can declutter, but then I don't because obviously if I need, you, anyway, I could go on. This is not my therapy session. <laughs>
what are you going to do? Yeah. If, that's yeah. A, if you have the intentions of making a hat. Then... Yeah. Like the, the yarn that I held up, the symphony. I loved it. It was so pretty. Mm -hmm. There was only one. So I bought one. Make now like, well, now what am I going to do? With that? They work really well in scraptastic blankets. So I know. It's so pretty. Like I wanted to like do something with it. You know what I mean? Like right. Specifically. So I did make that one shawl. Remember I always say it's the shishi poo poo yarn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I and love so that. I make another one of those. And I thought, well, that would be a good tutorial because everybody seems to like that shawl. So maybe I'll do that with that yarn. I don't know. I remember when you got the shishi poo poo yarn. Yes. I yes. love the shishi poo poo yarn. It was so pretty. <laughs> you have a shishi poo poo. It's shishi poo poo. I love <laughs> shishi poo poo. Oh, here's a favorite weird street name. Jane Hurt Yarn Road. Oh, what? Wow. What? Who would hurt yarn? Oh, yeah. Oh, yarn Road. Road. Jane Hurt Yarn Road. That is a weird name. Oh, okay. maybe the name of the lady is Jane Hurt, and it's her yarn road. I, maybe. She doesn't have a yarn room. She maybe there's a lot of sheep on that road. Oh, there you go. There is a toilet and a flush in Arkansas, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You know, there's a lot of funny names in California from the um, gold miners. Or, the, oh. you know, the guys that would go for the gold right. run. And they'd, put, they'd set up these mining camps, like Surprise. But I think Surprise is in Arizona. Yeah, that's in Arizona. Yeah. So there's a lot of them. Um, I think there's one like Flapjack or something like that. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Oh, here it is. Look at my uncle and aunt winter in Surprise, Arizona. They are, uh, gosh, what do they call them? Snowbirds. Yeah. They're in Missouri. Missouri, and it does indeed freeze over. <laughs> oh, it was Scottish origin. Okay. Yes, yeah, because, you know, I read a lot of Diana Gabaldon. Well, I was wondering because the streets over on that side of town, it, they're over by it's a, a golf course, the Alvamar golf course, and they have like Inverness and like a whole bunch of other Scottish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah Inverness was Irish. It's Scottish. In Inverness is in Scotland. Is yeah. it, oh, I know. Okay. It's yeah. in Scotland from. Yeah, I was Diana thinking, Gabaldon? Sorry, Kirk is, but I think Kirk might be Irish. Yeah. I started listening to the audio book. Isn't it good? So the good. Is really good, right? So good. It's great with the voices. And and I can't get over, like, how does she remember how each of them sound? Because I she know. has voices for each of them. And I'm like, man, she's really know. good. Who is it? Uh, Davina Porter. is. She does all of the, the Diana Gabaldon books. She narrates okay. all of them. And she yeah. she can switch her accents. around. The only accent I don't like is the accent she does for Brianna because she's trying to do a, a Boston accent. Yeah, it doesn't, she doesn't sound Boston. She doesn't get it. She just doesn't get that one quite right. She doesn't gotcha. get that Boston, that Boston accent. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think she does amazing. Mm -hmm. This is cute. My sister lives in a neighborhood where all the streets are named after Christmas stuff. Oh. Mistletoe oh. Molly, um, Candy Cane Lane, and she lives oh. on Snowflake Drive. I love it. I love that. I saw one neighborhood and they were all planets. So it was oh, that's Saturn neat. and Mars and Jupiter. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was kind of cool. And Lawrence, our streets um, on the east side of town go in the order of when the states were entered into statehood for the oh. United States. So it starts with, I think the farthest one is Delaware, but there might be another one. But what you know, Delaware. Del she wore in New Jersey. <laughs> Delaware, then like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York. I'm probably skipping some in there. Rhode yeah. Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island. Yeah. New Hampshire, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yeah. Vermont. Deneen says, Mel, I sent you an article on Messenger about the weather coming your way. I'm saying sorry now. Oh. So to all of our Canadian friends, we really don't blame you for the weather. We, we don't. We don't blame you. We should. Yeah, I well, love when you send us cold weather. Yeah, Ginger, I, 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 when you send us warm weather. I know. I cry when the warm weather comes. I'm like, 
Look, here's the thing, though, is I don't have a car, so I'm not going to be trying to get any out anywhere because I don't have a car right now. Um, and uh, the worst case scenario for me with the weather is that the power will go out. Now, the last time we had a really bad storm here um, where but this this happens when you get you get the freezing and then the rain and then it ices again. And that makes some trees and to and not and um, telephone poles burst. So the lines go down. So yeah. um, and stuff like that happens. So then the power goes out. And at the last time we had a big storm like that, power was out down in this area. And my husband was down here by himself for two days. Oh, and, um, uh, and it was out up in Highlands too, but my mom got us a hotel room. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So, uh, so we, we, were <laughs> but so the worst case scenario is I'll lose power, but I've got a propane, um, heater mm -hmm. uh, as a backup heater and, uh, and a propane stove top as a backup plate way to cook food. And, yeah. Um, my, uh, the, my refrigerated and frozen food, will just stick it in the snow outside. If we got yeah. it, I got a cool yeah. outside that I can scoop a bunch of snow up and put it in there and yeah, you know, that's, put frozen stuff in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if your outside temperature is like, you know, in the thirties and, and it's not sitting in the sun, they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Lacey says, Julie, yes, I've started doing that myself. No more one-off hanks. I buy mostly indie dyed yarn, but I am consciously buying more affordable and 300 grams or more for my pattern writing. Yeah, I, I, I'm, in, I'm making myself do that more. I am, I tend to be very thrifty. So I, I'm like, oh, I just buy one, but I like it. <laughs> it's just silly. Yeah. Um, I, I it makes no sense to buy something you're not going to use. Because you only bought one of them. <laughs> Actually, I, don't know. I did buy some a little bit more expensive wool yarn. I mean, it was like at the, it was $18 a skein, a hank, a, a hank. And I ended up buying two of them because I know, I know I want a hat. And it's super wash merino wool. So mm -hmm. I want a hat and, and a cowl with it. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I did do that. And I bought that from my local yarn store. I, that's something I actually, I never hauled on my channel, but I, because it was just yeah. two little things of it. I know. <laughs> hauls from local yarn shops are much smaller than hauls from Michael's. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. You know, or Walmart. Like, you get your Walmart or haul and you're like, I got this and I got this and I got this and I got this. And then you go to your 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 local yarn store and you're like, I got this. Isn't it pretty? Oh, look at this little itty bitty thing. Okay, that's my one and a half minute video. But also <laughs> two things with local yarn shops. Now, in some cases, some people can access that same exact yarn. But yeah. for the most part, that type of yarn is not always accessible to most, to the majority. So <coughs> while I'll probably on the local yarn shop uh, day, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do a haul then and do a haul video for that. But for the most part, I won't, I won't do haul videos for my, my, lo my local yarn shop. Yeah. Um, I may do post pictures on my Instagram and say, Hey, got that. Cause I'll tag them in my Instagram. Yeah. But what, what I like about the yarn barn is it has uh, like towards the back of the yarn store, it it'll have like thirty dollar, like a bag, thirty dollars of like two or yeah. three pounds of awesome yarn. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is a good deal because I got like, I don't know, 12 or 13 yeah. balls of yarn in one thing. Yeah. I remember that ball that you did. That was a great. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. 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 So just making it says we have a hell Wisconsin running joke is that hell does freeze up. <laughs> um, my my in-laws live on Wool Branch, but there have never been any sheep there as far as anyone knows. Um, and this one, there's a town called oh, yeah. Flick in Arkansas. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've heard of that. I forgot about that. Um, and I think uh, 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 Wanda mentioned there's a Frog Pond Road. And I actually drive it every time I go by it, every time I go to mom's. I, okay. it, well, at least something named similarly, Frog Pond. Um, yeah. uh, it, we have Gorge, <laughs> Gorge Road. So I know I know as a trucker that, um, uh, uh, and, unless Wanda came up in a, in a different vehicle, but she wouldn't be taking the truck up Gorge Road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a frog pond here, but it is a um, like a farmer's market. 
Well, it's not even like a farmer's market. It's like a farm and they have no, a market. And then they have a market that they. Yeah. And it's, everybody calls it the frog pond. And there's just like a little pond in front of it. So oh, I guess. Cute. We have a street named Free King Highway. Yes. Free King Highway. Free King Highway. Fast. Too fast. We have a next city close by. Um, there's an exit on the highway. <laughs> and my son calls it the freaky deaky bull beep exit. Um, I won't put in the beep word, but um, okay. yeah, the freaky deaky bull <laughs> because you have to really like maneuver to get in because there's cars coming onto the highway at the same time. Oh, you're to get oh off. got you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly that, yeah. It's all the exits. You will forever call that. We'll always call it that now, you know. So, where were you? Well, I was on the freaky deaky. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, when um, Angela lived in Lawrence, she was on Wisconsin. Oh, you were on Connecticut, weren't you? When did you live in Lawrence? I remember Ginger was on Connecticut. Yeah, I was on Connecticut. I've lived on every, almost every street in Lawrence. I, now, did you live over by the hospital? Like over on 6th Street? And I got to tell you, they just built a huge Casey's on 6th Street, which is wonderful. I think it's so funny that we always pause and wait for an answer. Like they're going to shout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, funny, Jess, um, because, yeah, I had a, I, I knew someone who lived in the neighborhood also. They named them All Planets. Uh, Lisa would like us to send her some cold weather. Oh, oh uh, it's Janine, right. It's summertime for Lisa. Deneen is saying this storm is called a Saskatchewan screamer. Apparently it is hitting 27 states and 60 million people. It's coming from my province. Oh, Deneen. Thanks, Deneen. Um, your mom would like you to hold up your blanket, Ginge? Frog Pond Road in North Carolina. Yes, and I don't know if we're talking about the same road, Wanda, but the Frog Pond one that I go by is on Gore, off of Gorge Road. What? I every don't talk to me because everything sounds like robots right now to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, here's one. Uh, there was a town, the area still called it, named Dead Horse Holler, Kentucky. It was named this back when horses were the main transportation. In really rainy seasons, the horses couldn't make the hills. So oh, it was full of a bunch of dead horses. Oh my gosh. Um, Sarah, thank you. I I have been asked, but I don't mind answering. Um, it's just a simple poncho, like the kind that you make like two rectangles and just stitch them together. It's just a simple V stitch, and then I have little bobbles around the bottom. I um, love the bobbles. Yeah, the bobbles are cute. And you can turn it. Like right now I have it sideways like that. But you can turn it so it's oh. you know, the triangle in the front too. So it can, so it can cover up a belly. That would be <laughs> Sure. <laughs> right on. I know it took three skeins of this yarn by Premier. Oh, no. This is one of my last skeins. Do you remember oh. Studio Classic by Nicole? Oh, yeah. That, I you loved it. That from, um, you can get it on Premiere still sometimes on their okay. website. But, but it wasn't. Was what was that one? Oh my gosh, I can't remember that craft store now. It was AC Moore. What is it? It was AC Moore's store brand. Yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah. And I have this gray. It's the same, like it's got these little flecks in it. And that's oh, what like that. one has too. And I have three of them, so I could make another one of these, but I don't, I don't you know. You guys, I'm it is, first of all, Kitty asked, um, I am working on a, a, another star blanket because I love this pattern, and this one's for my room. It's going to be a throw for my room. It's um, so pretty. So I'm working on that one. I'm still working on my mom's. I just kind of, I go between the, the three blankets that I'm making. Um, and do you realize it's 655? Oh, geez. I do. I do. And we do have to get going. Um, one last one. There is a hooker's lane in Florida. I had to oh take a picture of the road sign. Please send us a picture of that road sign if you still you have it. You know what I would do? I'd, because we would totally play with that. I'd go take that sign down and put it in my yarn room. <laughs> That's um, right. And, and like hang up a ball of yarn right next to it. 
Middlesex, Pennsylvania, I have heard of. I have also heard of Intercourse, Pennsylvania. I think it's in Pennsylvania. Intercourse. Yeah. yeah. Wonder why Pennsylvania named those things that. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, intercourse is like having conversation. That is true. That is true. And it's only in relatively recent times that it's become a a dirty word. Different meaning. <clears throat> right. Thank you, Kitty. I appreciate it. Thank you. Aww. Um, where is the yarn hookers episode next week? My house. And it's we're talking about Annette's. Melanie's. We're going to be at hook to the left next week. And what is our theme next week? It's like gloves, mittens, that kind of thing. Mittens. Mittens. So we're going from our hands to, our, I mean, from our head to our hands. Our head to our hands. We've already done our feet. So that's right. We did socks last year. It's so yeah. last year to do socks. So <laughs> we're going to do hands. <laughs> I love this. Yarn Fairy says, AC, no more. I used to work in a manager and miss my customers tremendously. Oh, the house room is amazing. Oh, yeah. it, really was. it really was. I, I know that you can sometimes get Studio by Nicole at um, Premiere on their website once in a while. I do miss their yarn. It, it, they had so many great colors and it was just perfect. So one thing I liked about AC more is <clears throat> these bags that you can get from Mary Maxim like this. Oh, AC yeah. Moore used to sell these. Yeah. Similar ones oh. all the time. And they were extremely affordable. Yeah. So that that is like I, I miss the yarn and everything, but that is the number one thing that I miss from AC Moore. Well, yeah. those those are yeah, those are the free like the free bags you can get with the Mary Maxim. Yeah, but they okay. but AC Moore would sell, and it's not just that the tote, they had backpacks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but they yeah. they sell <laughs> those. And they were yeah, really they even had small um, hand looms. Yeah, I loved AC yeah. Moore. I was so sad to see it go. Yeah, I, I literally, I think I did like ten walkthroughs. I was like, oh, it's all going away. Why, well, thank you, Sarah. Oh, all right, guys. Well, I think we should end it so that our friends can go over and see the fiber friendly the sister fiber group. sisters. Yeah. Sisters. Them. Yeah. yeah. So um, thank you guys all for coming though tonight. Yeah. And we can't wait to see you next week. And we're going to learn about some mittens for some. And thank you to everybody who's watching in the replay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. And um, let me get to my music. And don't thing. forget, go to yarnhookerslive.com to, and, and likely at some point tomorrow, this, this um, slideshow will be uploaded and also be uploaded to Facebook. Um, but yeah, go to there to get to pick them up tomorrow. So yarnhookerslive.com and or our Facebook group, either way. Yeah, and then you'll have tons of patterns to make for That's hats right. not hate and then post your pictures up on our Facebook group too. Yes, can't wait to see that. Don't forget, bust your stash 2022. Use that hashtag, post it in our group. We want to see those pictures. And on Instagram. <laughs> I'm trying okay. to do 2022. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be all right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.